Well, hello again, everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you the secret of making really strong mortise and tenon joints. Stand by. Now, if you think all you got to do is put these joints together and throw some deck screws at them, you might want to think again. It's not going to be strong enough if you're going to be pounding on it and wrenching on this thing. You're going to want something stronger. What we're going to be using is these nice four inch long bolts that'll go all the way through our three and a half by three and a half piece of wood. And that's not the secret. I'll show you the secret in just a second. A little marking here where the bolts are going to go. You don't have to get real precise. You don't have to measure anything. Just kind of eyeball it and guesstimate. Just make sure that it's uh, within the boundaries of your tenon. This washer is almost three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to use a three-quarter of an inch Forstner bit. I'm just measuring the depth of the head here on the bolt and the washer together. They're less than a quarter of an inch, so I just got to make sure that I went deep enough. I've got a quarter inch bolt here, so I'm going to use a quarter inch drill bit. So as you can see here, I've got these drilled through, but the drill press unfortunately has a four inch drill bit. And it's not long enough to get through there. I'm going to be using this guy. This is about 18 inches or so. And there is no way to chuck that up in the drill press. So just use a hand drill. But since the hole is already there and everything's lined up, it should be just fine. Next, what we got to do is transfer these holes here onto the tenon. And what I'm going to use is a transfer punch. If you've never seen a transfer punch, it's basically just a metal shaft with a point on the end of it. Get this together. I'm going to get my square here. Make sure this is squared up. Now it doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but you want it pretty square. If you don't have a transfer punch, you can just use the uh, drill bit you used, put it in there and smack that. place we need to drill but we're going to do a little trick and here is the trick we want that drill bit about a sixteenth of an inch in the opposite direction so instead of putting it exactly there we're going to put it up about a sixteenth of an inch Okay, let me try and make this a little bit clearer of what I'm doing here. I'm going to take, and instead of drilling the holes straight through the mortise, straight through the tenon, I'm just going to mark it, drill the holes in the tenon a sixteenth of an inch up above. What that's going to do is when I put this inside the tenon and start pounding the bolt through, it's going to start pulling this tenon down as it's pushing this mortise up. What that's going to do, it's going to make it a little hard to get the bolt in there, but 
once you get it pounded in there, this thing is going to go down. <clears throat> it's going to pull super tight. It's going to be very strong. And if you want to use an adhesive of some type, like a construction adhesive, I plan on using a, uh, the PL stuff by Loctite. It's a polyurethane adhesive. But if you wanted to try liquid nails, you might be able to use that. Or if you just wanted to use regular old wood glue, that would probably work as well. But if you are planning on using some type of adhesive, and you live where I live, it is very cold in the shop, and it's uh, probably not going to work out real well. So I will probably round this up. I'll take it into where I work. It's all heated, in, heated there, so the glue will be able to take hold after I get the bolts in and tighten everything up. I should get a nice tight bond. And as you can see here, I actually have one done. I did ahead of time, and it turned out really well. It's square. It is solid as a rock. I have no doubt that this thing will hold up really well under normal use. Would you be so kind as to do me a favor? If you got any value from this video at all, would you give this video a thumbs up, please? And if you uh, would leave a comment down below, good or bad, if you like these types of videos or not, I would be greatly appreciative of that. The next video, hopefully, will be me completing this project. If you'd like to see that project, you might want to subscribe so you don't miss it. But I want to thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you next time.